So I wanted to show you the bike rack that I've been using for quite a few years now. And uh, for some reason, this is a rack that nobody really talks about. Everybody talks about the really expensive ones and uh, this one doesn't get any love. Today I'm gonna try and change that a little bit. This is the Hollywood Sport Rider SE4, I believe. It's a four bike platform rack. It mounts with the tires in trays and then a hook that grabs onto the top of the frame to hold everything secure. And uh, it's rated for, I believe, 50 pounds a bike. So I've got it loaded up pretty good here today. Uh, this bad boy here, it's going to be at the capacity or probably over it a little bit. It's probably in the 50 pound range, 55 maybe. And this one here, this is just a cheaper bike that I borrowed. And But these cheaper bikes are usually fairly heavy. It's probably, I want to say 30, 35 pounds. Uh, this one is lighter. I'm going to say maybe 25. And this one would be in the high 20s, maybe close to 30. So we've got a decent amount of weight on here. But the biggest thing for me is will it hold my bikes and keep them from falling off? I don't care about all of these patented, trademarked, ratcheting systems, blah blah blah, whatever. I want a simple design that's going to hang on to the bikes and this absolutely does that. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm actually going to take the bikes off and I'm going to show you more about the actual rack itself so you can see a little better and I'm going to show you how it attaches to the vehicle and how you mount bikes to it. Okay so we got the bikes off, let's take a closer look at the rack. So this is a four bike platform design, as you can see there's those are the trays that the wheels sit in. Uh, it's actually a modular setup, so this is essentially two different bike racks connected together. So I only run a two bike rack 90% of the time with just my bike on it. And then if you're going to be running with more bikes on there, you can actually add the extension on when you need it, but you don't have to lug it around on your vehicle all the time if you're not using it. Which so the way that the bikes mount is first you put the wheels into the trays here and we actually have velcro straps that will wrap around the wheel and hold it in place in there and then we have these frame hooks that come down and this clamps down on top of the frame and this is padded it's got rubber padding on there there's potential if you have a dirty bike for this to scratch the paint on your frame it's possible i'm not going to lie to you uh, so far I haven't had any problems with it, but it is definitely something to look out for and if you're concerned about it Make sure you just wipe off your your frame and the inside of this hook first before you attach it So one of the biggest complaints that you hear from people about bike racks is wobble and they don't like the rack moving around They don't like it wiggling that it, it makes people feel uneasy when they look back in the rearview mirror and they see their bikes wiggling around back there so the expensive bike rack companies like 1UP USA and Kuat, they do a pretty good job of keeping everything secure and tight, but they're not the only ones that can do that, believe it or not. I mean, check this out. I'm tugging on that pretty hard. Look at the back of the truck shaking. It's not going anywhere. That is solidly mounted. The way that they can do that is with this system that they have, so, down here you can see the hitch pin, just like any other bike rack or trailer hitch or anything. And it mounts like that, but there's actually a steel rod that comes through this tube that pushes against this. And it's threaded, as you can see right here, this handle back here. So what you can do is you put the pin in, you mount the bike rack, and it'll have a lot of play in it. You crank down this handle and keep wiggling it around and keep cranking it down until there's no more movement. Okay, this is with the bike rack folded up. Um, it'll mount pretty much straight up and down and out of the way. So once you have it folded up, even with the four bike setup, it tucks up fairly close to the vehicle. About as close as you really can safely. I wouldn't want it that much closer than that. But you don't have to worry about it. if you're going to drive around town without your bikes on. It's not going to be in your way. You can flip it up and uh, it doesn't extend too far out. Now, the other thing is 
at least they advertise that you can actually swing this down even when it's loaded with bikes to gain access into your hatch honestly guys i don't see that happening this is a heavy bike rack and even heavier when you have maybe 100 pounds of bikes on there that's minimum a two-person job and it's just not very convenient i think it would be quicker and easier to actually just rip the bikes off and fold these things down out of your way it takes two seconds and you can get access to your hatch that way but yeah it's that's one thing that i don't really like about their design with that is it's just the way that the latches and the the pins work you're not gonna be able to do that easily so when you fold it back down you flip these guys back up and another cool thing is that everything is held together with pins they've actually got cables on them so you never have to worry about losing them you can take them out just let them hang and they're always going to be attached to the rack you don't have to try and figure out where one of these pins go because you know you'll lose one of them if you don't. Now, if you're using it for the first time or you're using a different bike on it, the idea is you have to adjust these platforms for the wheelbase of your bike. So that can be a bit of a pain. It takes a little bit of adjusting and fiddling with it in order to get everything set up. But the thing is, once you have it set up, as long as you're using those same bikes in the same position every time, you never have to do it again. So the initial setup might take a bit of time and a little bit of, of uh, frustration, but once you get it dialed in, you're going to be good to go, and it's just super quick and simple every time. So like I said, this is actually four years old, this bike rack. Uh, this is not a case where somebody sent me a rack to review and uh, I tried it for a week and now I'm telling you it's the best thing in the world. This is four years old. I bought it myself four years ago and uh, it's holding up great. The only real noticeable issues is, I can't really tell because it's in the shadow, but this threaded rod has some rust stains on it. You can see in here where the, the rainwater has just kind of stained it. It's not, not structural or rotten by any means, it's just kind of a, a rust stain in some spots. But overall I would say the powder coating is holding up pretty well. So now I'm going to attempt to uh, at least load one bike on here with the camera in my hand to show you guys that it can be done and that it's easy. So uh, let me just stick this back in here. All right, let's see how this goes. Sorry, you guys had to go for a little ride there. Um, so all I did here was I set it up ahead of time with the Velcro straps out so you can slide the wheels in and then wrap the Velcro around. So you stick the wheels into the trays and now we're going to be pushing this hook down. So you can see you have little squeeze things here. So you want to just basically snug that down uh, temporarily and then you're going to take these Velcro straps and wrap this around your wheel through your spokes. What do we got going on here? Okay, we got to flip it around. And it just goes like that. So that is just a, an extra safety measure to make sure that the wheel doesn't pop out of the tray. And I would do the same with that. And then to finish it all down, I just give it a good tap on here. Actually, I gotta get the other one out of the way. Slide that down and that bike is going nowhere. Now, like I said, I can only do that in just a matter of seconds, but uh, it's a lot harder to do when you're holding the camera in one hand. But I mean, technically I did do it. So that kind of gives you an idea how easy you can do it. One more thing I wanted to say is uh, before you pull away and after you're loading all your bikes, just double check everything. Make sure, check every wheel, make sure you got your Velcro strap on each wheel. Push down on these, make sure these are tight. Uh, 
check all of these pins here. Make sure you haven't left one dangling, one's out. As you can see, we got three in there, three in here. Uh, double check that this pin here is in, if you had it flipped up at all. Uh, it doesn't hurt to double check the anti-wobble handles as well. And uh, give each bike a wiggle before you take off, just to make sure they're all in. That's pretty important. You don't want to be having your bikes fall off on the side of the highway. So I'm not going to say that this rack is cheap necessarily. Uh, it's inexpensive for what you get, but the way that it comes in price wise is you're going to pay pretty much for this entire four bike rack with the two matching locks about the same price as you would for just a two bike rack from one of the, the popular companies. So uh, this thing is a huge bang for your buck. Uh, as you can see, it works great for me. I'm out here with the Forerunner. Uh, it fits perfect. We still have plenty of ground clearance despite it sticking out so far. And uh, it's built tough. It's the one downside is it is heavy. So if you're somebody that isn't very strong or small, you're gonna have some trouble mounting and unmounting this thing from your vehicle because it is big and heavy. I would say it's probably at least 80 pounds. But the good news is that it splits into two pieces so you can do it two bike sections at a time and uh, that's really the only downside to this thing guys uh, it's heavy but it's because it's overbuilt and if you want something that's this strong and this easy to use that's lightweight you're gonna need to shell out some big bucks for one of those aluminum racks this is uh, thick gauge steel so it weighs quite a bit but it can handle good weight uh, one other I'm not going to call it a design flaw, it's just kind of the nature of the beast, is uh, say you're out riding your bike and you get a flat tire out on the trail, that does affect how stable your bike is going to be when you mount it to go home because if you think about it, your tire sits inside of this tray right here. So if the air is out of this tire, the tire is still there but it's going to have some give in it. And uh, I've experienced that once of mounting a bike with a flat tire in the back and it's just something to be aware of. You can still mount it safely, it's not going to pop out or anything as long as you kind of think things through and make sure you tighten it down really good. But uh, I guess that would also be a possible situation if you're going on a really long road trip and you have a slow leak in a tire. But that's why I, I would say if you're going to be on the highway for a few hours, make sure you pull off every once in a while. Whenever you gotta stop for gas or you gotta stop to stretch, just run out and uh, double check your rack. Make sure your bikes are good. Make sure the tires are still full. Because if the tires were full when you mounted it and the tire deflates, your bike is gonna come loose. So just keep an eye on that. So I wanna check and see, we're out here kinda on these uh, kinda lame off-road trails, but there are a few with little hills and bumps. So I just wanna check and see if we can make it over the same stuff that we normally can with this bike rack attached. I just want to prove to you guys that you don't have to have a thousand dollar bike rack to have a really secure, easy to use setup for your bikes.
so as you can see we are uh, cruising down this dirt road here and uh, a little bit of movement on the bikes but hardly anything uh, in the video I just showed I think the uh, the GoPro was wiggling more on the mount than the, the bike rack was wiggling on the truck so uh, this rack is no joke just because it's not from one of the big fancy companies doesn't mean that it can't hold up. Um, you can see I'm cruising at about 70 right now down this dirt road. And everybody's sitting still. So if you want to learn more about this Hollywood bike rack, uh, I've got a full review on CanadianGearhead.com uh, with all the details, lots of pictures, and my whole opinion about this rack and why I chose it. Uh, I'm also going to have some links in there that you can actually purchase this exact rack on Amazon, which is pretty handy. Um, I'll throw the link of the article in the description of this video here, and uh, make sure you check it out. Have a good one, guys.